Traders, Marcello here with the part three of this video series of learning how to day trade. Today we're gonna to talk about how to set up a trading business, what you need in order to get started. Uh, the part one, we talked about the advantages and disadvantages. Part two, we talked about the best markets to trade, especially for beginners. And now I wanna tell you everything that you need in order to be able to learn how to day trade. So uh, compared to other industries, obviously, the, the startup time or startup costs, I should say, for learning how to day trade compared to every other business is very, very minimal. You know, if you go to college for four years, that can cost you anywhere between twenty-five to one hundred thousand dollars. And when you get out of college, obviously, you're going to have a job that's going to pay you, you know, anywhere between thirty to sixty thousand dollars a year. That would be the vast majority of us. For those of you that go out and and uh, look to start your own business, you know, that can cost fifty thousand, hundreds of thousands of dollars. And as you and I know, most businesses do fail within the first few years. A day trading is something that you can start off with very, very minimal costs and it, you know, I'm not going to lie to you, it's not that it's very easy to learn, but those who are committed to it, know how to work hard, uh, they, they usually are successful. First thing you need is a computer. I'll tell you exactly what I just recently started purchasing or what I just bought in terms of a computer. So the first thing you need is a computer. I'll let you guys know what I just purchased for a computer. Uh, you obviously need a broker for those of you that um, you know want to buy and sell stocks or day trade. You need a broker to do that. It's just like a checking account. You need a good trading strategy. Uh, although the next video I'm going to do is talking about specifically about trading strategies. Um, you know, I, I want to just kind of touch that lightly here. Uh, charting software, you need something to be able to put in and, and take orders. You need an easy market to learn, so I'll recap that from one of the previous videos. And then a lot of something that a lot of people don't discuss is community, right? The, the whole aspect of being able to help one another. And the last thing is incorporation. Many people do look to incorporate into their own business, but I won't talk about that in detail simply because there's a lot of different regulations around the world in South America, North America, Europe, and even Australia. So, uh, you know, just keep in mind that you are able to incorporate to be able to save on taxes and things like that. But I won't highlight that in this video simply because there's a lot of different laws around the world governing that. This is what most people consider to be day trading. A lot of uh, fancy colors and lines and a billion screens. And in reality, you know, day trading, I always say, is the easiest, hardest thing to do because it's a very easy concept to understand. But it's a very hard uh, discipline and practice to apply. So, you know, one thing I can tell you right off the bat is you don't need all of this. Uh, I trade with one laptop screen and an extra monitor. Most other traders that I know, especially the ones that are traveling around the world, they only use one laptop as well. So all you really need is one laptop. I'll show you, this was my initial day trading setup when I first started trading about 10 or 12 years ago. Uh, desktop, you can see the printer there on the right. Uh, I now only trade with a laptop, you know, and uh, one of the reasons I wanted to show you guys these pictures is because it shows that you can trade from anywhere in the world. This was in Africa where the internet went out a lot. Uh, one of the beautiful things about cell phone towers and even uh, mobile internet technology and mobile phone cell phones is that your power can go out, your, your laptop will still work, and in a lot of times internet towers have backup internet sources. So this was a little uh, cafe, internet cafe in Zambia. I was visiting, visiting one of the most beautiful places in the world, the Victoria Falls. This is my office in Rio de Janeiro. I lived there for about six or seven months, one of the most unique cities in the world I recommend you visit. And this is one of the, uh, an isolated beach in Madagascar uh, limited internet connection, but obviously now, you know, internet is pretty available around the world. So computer requirements. The recent laptop that I purchased was $820.52 to be exact. Any off-the-shelf $500 to $800 laptop will be fine. These are just some of the specs that I bought. Smallest laptop you want to get for trading is about 15 inch. The largest uh, that you want to get is about 17 inch. I have a one terabyte hard drive, but you really only need about two to 300 gigabyte hard drive i5 processor higher is good obviously if we're going to be using a lot of, of processing power for a lot of these tr these programs that we use to trade i recommend an i5 or higher or although uh, uh, an i3 an intel i3 processor or something comparable will be fine six gigs of ram minimum 
I have 8 gigs of RAM in this computer. I would not recommend Windows 8. They still have a lot of issues with a lot of uh, platforms and, and programs. I'd recommend you go to a refurbished Windows 7 laptop. Um, don't buy an HP laptop. They're, they have a fundamental flaw in the way that they design their laptops. So go with Dell, go with Lenovo or Toshiba. I would consider those the best. Other accessories that you don't really need, a monitor. You know, I have one here in my office in, uh, in Medellin, Colombia, but you really don't need one as long as you have a big enough screen on your laptop. Backup power source, now with laptops, you really don't need that as much anymore either, but would recommend it, especially if you're trading from third world countries. And a laptop cooling device, you know, especially if you have an older laptop, that can help. The internet connection, I know a lot of people always ask about that. You need a reliable internet connection. High speed really isn't that necessary anymore. Something I didn't include here in the, in the slides, but a minimum upload of 0.5, download of, of about uh, one megabyte minimum. I'll go ahead and write it here on the chart for the internet. You need at least one megabyte download. And uh, the other one is the upload, which should be about 0.5 megabytes. Obviously, it also depends on the latency, but for the most part, if you have that fast enough internet, if your internet is that fast, it should be fine. Your brokers, I know a lot of us always want to talk about the, the cost of how much a broker charges us, the fees and commissions and everything, but then at the end of the day, if you're going to do this for a living, you know, a few cents more or maybe even a dollar more isn't going to make that much of a difference if it, if it affects the quality of the service. One of the biggest things when it comes to day trading is getting filled on orders. So if you, if you don't get filled on an order, for example, you know, that really doesn't equate to paying extra 50 cents. It really doesn't make sense, right? Because if you're going to lose a few hundred dollars or a few thousand dollars by not getting filled just to save 50 cents, really doesn't matter. So the biggest thing that I can advise you to do is don't obsess so much over the price. Quality is more important than, uh, th than the actual price and focus on the service and stats. The trading strategy, make sure that it is simple. Uh, there's a lot of education online. There's a lot of books that people create and there, most people just want to sell you indicators and software, right? E even software where you have to rely on another company. So if you're looking for a tr trading strategy, make sure that it's someone that is going to teach you how to read the market properly, not a piece of software that they're going to update that you're going to have to rely on the company for. Uh, also, one big thing that a lot of people don't talk about is a community of good traders. You know, a lot of times, a lot of companies online will, will have one person that kind of is the face of the company and they won't have any other good traders around them. So make sure that it's a good community of traders that help each other out, not just, you know, one person or two people or employees of the company that are teaching you how to trade. This is another reason why I think communities are so important. You know, you keep yourself accountable with each other. You help each other develop new ideas. You're not just getting ideas or strategies from a company company that you're paying you know a lot of times what companies will want to do is continue to upgrade you to more and more services uh, and the chain is really only as strong as the weakest link I'm sure you guys have read that quote before this is a picture of uh, some of our master traders Nikolai there in the middle from Bulgaria came down to Colombia to spend two months with us to train our new Colombian traders in our center our day trading center here in Colombia Guillermo there on the right came up from Brazil he's gonna help us start our day trading center in Brazil this is Bryce, who we lived in Rio de Janeiro together. We met in Colombia, uh, and now we are going to be starting a private equity fund with a lot of the strategies and techniques that we use at the Day Trading Academy. Next in the video series, guys, uh, this video obviously was talking about setting up a day trading business. In the next video, I'll talk to you about how to find a good day trading strategy. Part five will be about uh, you know watching a live trade in action, kind of explaining what we look at, how to look at it, uh, looking at the market the right way, I should say. And then finally, the misconceptions of becoming a day trader. If you have any questions, leave a comment or a question below here on YouTube. Otherwise, you can visit us at thedaytradingacademy.com and we'll be more than happy to get back to you. So stay profitable, guys. Ciao.